and you're back right here on Open Studio DSTV channel 263 with myself, Brad. And today we are chatting all about a uh, number one hit musical which has been coming from back then in the 1960s and is still very much going on today. We are joined by two of the cast members in studio who is giving us all the ins and outs with regards to that, Laura as well as Christine. Um, Laura, for the question I want to ask you is, uh, we know that this musical obviously has a lot of high lows and down lows and also it's been filled with a lot of laughter as well. But then again, there's a lot of sadness, emotional, right? How do you guys, as an actress, how do you deal with that when it comes to a script? You get your script, uh, you see it's like very, very emotional scene that you have to do. How do you deal with that? Um, well, I, first of all, I want to say that the five girls are, they don't have names, they have colors, and they are, each one is quite stereotyped to a certain type of woman, and I think any, anybody, even men watching the show will be able to say, oh, I'm a bit of a blue girl, or I'm a bit of a yellow girl, or I'm a bit of a green girl, and um, so I think that the emotional path for each of those five is, is quite, it's quite well defined. Um, I think I must shout out to our director, Garth Tavares, who um, helped us tremendously to, to find those spaces where we needed to bring a, across the comedy and then also to get into the emotional side where, where you know, each one of these characters does go through an arc where they change yeah. and they grow and they learn and they mature and something about their emotional state changes and, and I think he was quite fundamental in, in helping us and um, I think each one of us fits our roles quite well. Wow. So a lot of who we are is also in the character. Is it? And you, Christine? Yeah, I completely agree with Laura that um, each of us fits our characters quite well. So when it comes to feeling those emotional moments, um, you identify with that character, so it becomes it becomes much easier um, to go into that space. I mean, the show is very high energy, so a lot of the time we have to have a lot of energy. So there's, <laughs> I would say, more highs than lows, um, but those moments are very beautiful, those emotional moments. Wow. And uh, now, Laura, you mentioned that the characters does not have names. They're identified by certain colors. Can you please tell us more about that? How did that come about and also why? I think that they are not given names because we will associate something to a name. And a color is more universal, which is exactly what this musical is about. We are all a color of some kind. We yeah. are all something that, <laughs> yeah. and we can say, wow, I'm a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And I think it makes it unifying. It makes it, um, uni it, makes it universal. It makes it for, for anybody. Wow. And Christine, would you say that enough is being done um, to celebrate womanhood in not only in South Africa, but also right across the world? I think there's a lot being done these days to celebrate womanhood. I think that, um, you know, obviously we've, we've walked a long journey and there's been a lot done in the last few years. Um, I think we're at a space as women where we do celebrate our womanhood and um, we're proud of who we are. And I do feel like we're a lot more equal than we were back in the 60s. So um, I feel that there's a lot being done. Wow. Yes. And I don't want to put you ladies on the spot, but uh, what would you say are your favorite things during this play? What do you love about being an actress in this play, telling a story? I love the backstage <laughs> chats beforehand. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. We bond. We're very tight as a unit, um, and I think we have a, we we share a lot, which is which is good. Um, I like the fact that on stage I feel very safe. I know that if I because I'm the oldest, I'm the granny of the okay. group, so <laughs> if I forget something, then somebody will, mm, this way, or, you know. <laughs> um, I like the camaraderie, the unity, the friendship. Yeah, it's my favorite. And you? Yeah, I completely agree. Uh, we have a lot of fun, especially backstage, um, and the quick changes and all that sort of thing are very entertaining. Um, but I love the dancing, and I love the music, and so once we're out on stage, I think we just, we all just enjoy ourselves so much. And how do you, how do you guys manage to do that? Because you're not just acting, but you're also dancing as well. Is that difficult to do it both at the same time? Um, we are so well rehearsed by now that, it, that it's not too difficult. Um, the choreography is very intricate, and so at any given moment, there are 100,000 things that can go wrong. Um, but our brains are kind of trained now to know exactly what to do. And for now, it's just about focusing on the character, really, and being the character. Yeah. And also as alive, so if a mistake do happen, just guys just have to pick it up and just continue doing it. And boy, do mistakes happen. <laughs> <laughs> and the audience is sitting right there, so they see it too. Oh, wow. 
Um, so this is currently uh, a theater piece, right? It's a musical. Any chance that it might go into a future film anytime soon? I think Shout would work as a film. Um, I think it would need some clever um, adapting, but at the moment it's just written as a musical, but uh, you know, for stage. But I, I think it could work. It might, yeah. It could be fleshed out and 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 really create, you know, something fantastic for movie. Yeah. You know? And how do you balance um, between everything that you do on a daily basis, uh, Christine? Obviously, you have work, you have your family at home, you're doing this full-time because a lot of hours goes into this, a lot of rehearsals, then you have to perform. How do you balance this between all of those? Yeah, um, it's definitely a challenge. And um, so when you commit to something like this, you really have to be committed and know that it's something that you are invested in. Um, it's tough. Uh, you work a nine-to-five job and then rehearse till seven to ten in the evenings and on weekends. So it takes up a lot of time. But uh, I think it's just a testament to how much we love, we love doing it. Yeah, at the end of the day, if you love what he's doing, then come what may, <laughs> he would add to that. So I will ag absolutely agree with Christine. I think when you're so passionate about it, it's, it's time that doesn't seem like time spent on a chore. It's just something you, you love. Yeah. Wow. But, oh man, exciting things happening right here in the building as we are chatting to Laura as well as Christine, giving us all the ins and outs with regards to a heat musical. Um, title a shout currently happening right here in Cape Town. We'll have more for you guys right after the break, so don't go. Anywhere.